Hey guys, it's History Behind the Warrior, and welcome to another Mortal Kombat movie video. Now, it's been a while since I've actually talked about this, but since then, quite a lot of news has popped up, and we do have some amazing news regarding the film, including new additional characters that will feature in it, a changed release date, and where they currently are in the stages of filming. Now, before I go all over the most recent news that has popped up, I'll be giving you all a recap of what exactly is going on with the movie, who's behind the steering wheel, and the characters that we do currently have confirmed. Now without any further ado, let's get on to it. Now the Mortal Kombat movie really has been in the pipeline since 2010. Of course after the 8 minute short known as Mortal Kombat Rebirth got a lot of traction, Warner Brothers understandably saw a lot of interest in the project, as of course MK9 was a reboot of the series and reignited a lot of fire that the series had been lacking for a substantial amount of time, so it did put a lot of eyes back on the product. So since then Warner Brothers attempted to actually put a movie together, however this film never really came into fruition, it was somewhat put in the pipeline and Warner Brothers started working on another Mortal Kombat project, that being Mortal Kombat Legacy, a series that got very mixed reception from fans. Now Legacy would stop at two seasons and the Mortal Kombat movie was presumed to be somewhat dead, but in 2015 the project would land in the lap of James Wan who was originally going to direct the film, however this would clash with his schedule and unfortunately he would put this on the side. Now for those of you unfamiliar with Wan's work, he has a lot of background in horror films, with Saw, Insidious and The Conjuring in his filmography. Now because one wasn't able to direct the project, this would instead pass over to Simon McCoy, who would sign on as director and has since stuck with the project. Around this time as well, Greg Russo would become the writer of the film. Being a longtime fan of the series himself, Russo understandably saw this as a bit of a passion project. Now with the film somewhat being in purgatory, it wasn't up until 2019 where James Wan was finally able to return back to the project as a producer this time and Russo was finally able to finish the film script. After the release and success of Mortal Kombat 11's release, Warner Brothers saw this as the perfect opportunity to announce that the Mortal Kombat movie would finally be happening. As of May 2019, the film has been greenlit and would be shot in South Australia with the release date of March the 5th, 2021. So the film had a lot of promising foundation behind it, but who exactly will be featuring in it and who will be portraying who? Well from what we know, we have Joe Taslim portraying B. Han Sub-Zero, McCard Brooks as the No BS Jax, Tadanobu Osano as the Thunder God Raiden, Sissy Stringer portraying the half Adenian half Tarkatan hybrid Melina, Ludi Lin as the Shaolin Monk Liu Kang, Josh Lawson as the Treacherous Kano, Jessica McInerney as the beautiful Sonya Blade, Chin Han as the Sorcerer Shang Tsung, and Hideyuki Sanada as the Vengeful Scorpion. Now all of this was news released in August, since then some more additional individuals have joined the cast, like an individual that I've briefly touched on Louis Tan. You may recognize him as Shatterstar from Deadpool 2 or Lu Xin Li from Wu Assassin. And what's interesting about the case of Louis Tan is that his role hasn't exactly been explored just yet. Unlike the other actors that have been assigned a character, we do not currently know who Louis is portraying. It's believed that the film is set to have its own original character, that apparently being called Turner. However, these are simply just rumors for the time being. But due to the somewhat negative reception that this has gotten online, it may explain why Louis Tan's role hasn't been revealed for this film just yet. However, please do treat this as a rumour. I will be touching on this topic once again in a bit, but that's all we currently know about Louis Tan. Now in September, we also learnt that Kong Lao would be joining the film, being portrayed by Max Huang. However, it's unknown as to whether or not he'll be playing a big role in this film or simply just be there as a cameo. Which brings us on to some other characters that have in fact been announced for the film. It has since been revealed that apparently Natara will be in the film, being portrayed by Alyssa Cat. Well. This will be Alyssa's big break as an actress, because for the most part she is a stunt actress, having done work in The Shallows and in one of James Wan's most recent films, Aquaman. Now considering that her role was revealed during the later half of filming, we don't entirely know how involved with the film she'll be, as she may simply just have a cameo role. We just have to wait and see. Now another actress that has seemingly joined the cast is Matilda Kimber, but here is where things are very kind of interesting here, and somewhat brings us back to the Cole Turner situation. You see, Matilda Kimber is 14 years old and her role in the film is yet to be revealed. We do have a picture of her standing alongside Louis Tan and seeing as both of these actors' roles haven't been revealed just yet, it somewhat brings us back to the whole Cole Turner situation and makes that somewhat leak seem much more real, as the character has been described as a former middleweight champion who is a bit washed up but still puts up a good fight. He cherishes the one day a week he gets to spend with his daughter Emily during his divorce. It does 
somewhat confirm my suspicions that this may in fact be very much so real, as no one in the Mortal Kombat universe is in fact that young. Again, this isn't something that's solid in stone, but does line up with this apparent leak. And now we finally come on to our final character, and that is none other than Shao Kahn, who will be portrayed by Nathan Jones. Now Nathan Jones is a mountain of a man, standing at 6 foot 11 inches and 320 pounds. He is a very tall individual. On top of this, he really does look the part, because in the early 90s, Nathan participated across the world as a strongman, winning multiple different titles across the globe. So the man definitely looks like quite the juggernaut. Now from here, Nathan himself has some experience in wrestling as well as mixed martial arts. Although his career was very brief in MMA, he did train for quite a while before stepping in the ring. Now after stepping away from wrestling, MMA and powerlifting, Nathan tried his hand at acting. Although he himself never landed any real big leading roles, he was typically seen as a formidable opponent, which can be seen in 2005's Tom Young Gung, where he took on the likes of Tony Jaa and Jet Li as Hercules O'Brien in Fearless. In more recent films, he's featured as Rictus Erectus in Mad Max Fury Road. So again, although he hasn't played big, huge roles, he has most definitely featured in some really big film. Now, much like Natara as well as Kung Lao, his announcement was made during the later half of filming, which may indeed mean that his role in the film will only be a cameo. But in saying that, it's nice to have Shao Kahn be involved in the film in one way, shape and form, even if it is just a simple small cameo for the time being, as you don't want to overpack your first film. Now these were all of the remaining characters that I haven't actually discussed on the channel that have in fact made it to the film. But now what exactly is going on with filming? Well, it's actually all done and wrapped up. As of December the 13th, all shots and scenes have in fact been filmed, so the next year will be all post-production and work being done on the film to get it all ready before it's shipped out. Now due to them in fact finishing the film a lot earlier than many had expected, the release date has in fact been brought forward, with it now being January 15th, 2021, instead of March 5th, 2021. So the film will be coming out sooner than expected, which honestly is a great sign for Mortal Kombat fans that are excited for this film. It is extremely promising, and I'm hoping that it will turn out well. Now what are your current thoughts on the movie and the cast that hand? Do you believe the whole Cole Turner thing is real? And what do you personally want to see from the film? Please do comment down below as I'm very intrigued what you all have to say. I do apologise for not covering every single bit of news right on the dot, but to me I feel like it's definitely worth creating a video that covers a vast majority of news than trying to stretch out a very small amount of information. I feel like you get more out of my content that way, and I'll have far more to talk about and work with. But yes guys, that's everything I do want to say here. Now who are you most excited to see? Please do let me know, and if possible let's try getting it to about 500 likes, as it's a great way of supporting this channel. And also don't forget to take that bell and subscribe, as it will notify you when I do upload a video, and we will be going back to our normal content from this point onwards. But yes, as always, please comment, like, subscribe, and share this video with everyone you know. Please take care, and I will see you all next time.